Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to either enable or disable the Action Center within Windows 10. So the Action Center, like previous versions of Windows, acts as a place where you can find information regarding system notifications. And in Windows 10 it's been expanded to include more information regarding applications and other data on your computer. So if for some reason you wanted to disable it, as if you were getting a lot of notifications and you didn't want to disable each individual app, we're going to be going through in this tutorial how to do it. So now I'm going to be showing also how to enable the Action Center as well. So we're going to head over to our Start menu and we're going to search up Local Group Policy Editor. And there should be an option that says Edit Group Policy Control Panel. I want to left click on it. So, underneath the user configuration, you want to click on the little drop down arrow next to Administrative Templates and select that menu. Underneath that you want to select just left click on the start menu and taskbar folder. Now you want to search for remove notifications and action center. It should be right underneath the pin apps to start when installed. So now you want to double click on it. Now it's very important that you do this correctly here because the wording could be a little bit confusing. So not configured would mean that it's defaulted to enabled so it'll be on if it's set to not configured. If you're looking to disable the action center you want to select the dot enabled. So it's kind of the reverse if you're trying to disable the action center you want to left click on enabled and then left click on apply and OK. And then the action center should be disabled at that point. Because if you read the wording here, it says remove notifications and action center. If it's enabled, if that setting is enabled, it will act as a disabling feature for the action center. So hopefully that was not too confusing, guys. So if we close out of here and we restart the computer, I will be right back to show that it worked. Hello, everyone. I'm back. So the Action Center has been disabled. If you look down on our system tray, we see the icon is nowhere to be found. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.